the worst tornado event in the history of our Commonwealth. When deadly tornadoes wreaked havoc across Kentucky, General Aviation rose to the challenge. I'm Sean, I'm a firefighter and pilot, and this is The Fire Pilot. In our last video, we left Monroe County Airport with a load of supplies for tornado-damaged Mayfield, Kentucky. The Kentucky aviation community came through in a big way. Donation drives sprung up everywhere as people wanted to desperately help. Aviation was able to deliver the supplies in the quickest manner. I first went to Topkinsville Monroe County Airport to pick up a load of donations that was ready to go. From there was a short flight directly to Mayfield, where a team of volunteers are ready to accept whatever they can get. Monroe County Traffic Twin says the 2638 Yankee departing runway 4 to the west for Monroe. Full power. 40, 50, 60, 70. December 10th, 2021. A strong squall line of storms developed, producing an EF4 tornado in northwest Tennessee. The storms were towering 41,000 foot high and produced devastating surface winds of at least 166 miles per hour. A group of Kentucky aviators banded together to deliver supplies to people who needed them most. While FEMA and others had not fully immobilized, the power of general aviation came together and did our part. So we got that load picked up in uh, Tompkinsville, not Taylorsville. Got the load picked up in Tompkinsville and uh, we are uh, headed to uh, Graves County to M25, M25. A lot of people are in need there, so um, the wonderful people, Ben and his wife in Tompkinsville have organized a, a collection site there. That's the number 263 Yankee, is that right? Hey, firm 263 Yankee, we're a twin Cessna 310, level at 4,500. We're about 15 miles southeast of Bowling Green, looking for flight following to Mike 25. November 3A Yankee, block uh, 1360. 1360, 3A Yankee. November 3A Yankee, radar contact uh, 13 miles southeast of Bowling Green, she at 4,500. Want to verify your flight plan information? It was a Cessna 310 going to Mike 25, is that right? Position checks, uh, altitude checks, that's affirmative. Cessna 310 going to Mike 25. Excellent, November 3A Yankee, just maintain VFR, the National Altimeter 3034. Wilco 3034, 38 Yankee. There. The body of water, let's see if you can see it. The body of water that you're seeing outside of uh, the front forward facing camera is Lake Barkley. Lake Barkley, I think, is a man made lake uh, in Kentucky. It's a huge lake. Maybe one of the biggest? Not sure. Biggest man made lake. I don't know. I'm making all that up. This is Lake Barkley. And you see that there's two channels, basically. Uh, there's a near channel and far channel from where we're going from east to west. And then in between is this landmass. It's called the land between the lakes. We're very creative in Kentucky, and that's what we decided to name it, the land between the lakes, Lake Barkley. Pretty cool little uh, little place I've never been, but uh, it's supposed to be some really good fishing down there. Memphis Center Twin Cessna 2638 Yankees level 4,500. 2638 Yankee Memphis Center Paducah altimeter 3028. 30283 Yankee. 38 Yankee. VFR traffic at your 12 to about 1230 and uh, maybe 11 miles off the direction altitude indicating 5,300. Looking for 38 Yankee. Thank you. Traffic twin says the two six three eight Yankees turn it final now. One nine Eric Graves County. Three in the green. Oh not to flaps. Hi 
100. Graves County traffic, twin Cessna 263 at Yankee Short, final one nine or Graves County. Hopkinsville, Christian County traffic, this is Cherokee 46 Fox Truck. I'm off to the west, inbound, going to be entering the downwind, left downwind for 26 for a full stop. Hopkinsville, Christian County. some supplies, that's all we need. Roger that, you would turn left on Bravo, and then you're going to follow this taxiway right in front of the Learjet to the WT Aviation hangar. Copy that. Thanks so much, we really appreciate it. Absolutely, no problem. At M25, the Graves County Airport, volunteers here heard we, the Calvary, were on the way. Pilots from all around the eastern U.S. dropped off nine loads on the first day alone. Everything you see here came in via private flights. The airport was directly hit, but the FBO and receiving hangar remained undamaged. The biggest impact here? The T-hangers. Countless planes were ripped from the hangar and slung in all directions. From Cubs to Archers, most aircraft here were a total loss. The most significant effect of this storm, of course, wasn't airplanes. It was the near destruction of a city, homes, businesses, and unfortunately, the loss of human life. When tallied, the storms of December 2021 went down in the history books as the deadliest storm in Kentucky history. 77 people lost their lives that night or as a direct result of the storm. There is a positive light to this. The aviation community is a collection of folks who are willing at a moment's notice to help those in need. Planes delivered donations for months after this event. When a community of like-minded people get together and work toward a common goal, it's amazing what can be accomplished. To all our folks in Western Kentucky, uh, stay strong. Uh, to all of you, we love you. Uh, we're gonna be with you today, tomorrow, and in the years to come. How do you use aviation for the benefit of others? Share your story in the comments below. Aviation is one of the greatest privileges in the world. Never forget that aviation is about people. If you enjoyed this flight, subscribe below to see some more. Share with friends who also may enjoy. Thanks for watching this episode from The Fire Pilot. <laughs>